Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Seven Days of Die. I'm gonna continue building these pillars and talking about some random stuff as I go. Um, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that I'm gonna need to do. I've actually looked over some of the data values for how far out blocks can actually go, and it's gonna be a little hectic once I get up there, and uh, I'm gonna have to do a crap load of supports. It's gonna be very crazy. So hopefully you guys can stick by. Um, I've been getting some comments about editing videos, um, basically what I mean by that is people are saying, well not by people, I mean like a couple of people are like, um, you should edit videos, do like your specific moments, like really cool moments, but that's not something I want to do, I want to do what I want to do, and when I want to do it, I know it sounds very selfish of me, but this is my channel, and the way I look at it is, if I start doing what you guys want to do now, in the future, I'm going to get very bored and not want to even make YouTube videos. So I'm going to continue with what I want to do by doing these unedited uh, LPs, Let's Plays, and um, just having fun with it and moving on and hopefully getting my channel a little bit bigger. Did that tree? It sounded just like a tree fell down. That was weird. Um, Alright, so we're almost to the top here. Just a few more. Yeah, yeah. Um, one more. Hopefully this isn't too high. I don't want to have to break it in the future. Uh, yeah, let's do one more. Hopefully we're not too high. And get my painkillers out. This is not, not a situation I want to be in. I'm going to do a lot of jumping, that's for sure. So I'm going to avoid putting the water on right now. I'm going to do it a little bit later, but I'm going to have to start doing some crazy amount of supporting. Oh, the one on the left is actually smaller than the one on the right. Mm, that kind of sucks. So how are we going to do this? We need to connect these outer pillars to the pillars that I have on top of the church. So let's, um, how do we, let's put one in the middle. I definitely want to put one in the middle, but I don't, this is confusing. All right, so we're just going to start right here. Let's start right here and um, let's try and get up there and see if we can just build straight across and um, maybe we might have to increase this one more high. I hope not. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, what the hell? My my hand is black with my blueberries. Why do I even have blueberries? I don't even need them. So we're just going to start down here and work our way across. Nope, not what I wanted to do either. Awesome. Try to avoid using the auger, but it, it is quite loud. Like that top one. We're going to start over at the, the larger pillar and work our way over. That's probably going to be much easier. Is that one? That one's way too short. Fuck. Um, it's very confusing what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. I'm definitely... Definitely need one in the middle. I... Yeah, I'm gonna put wood down. Let's, let's put wood down over here, and we're gonna build our way up and then build across. That should work. Right? Maybe? Yeah, that should work. Alright. Let's put the wood down and put the blocks. Okay, this should work. Yeah, and then we bring build the all of these across. And that's not what I want to do, damn it. And um and just put these across. And bring it to the middle. Come on. Come on. One more. Boom. Awesome. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna rinse and repeat. And we're gonna do that on every side. I'm gonna go break the woods, the wood blocks first though. I don't want the wood blocks to sit there. My fire axe. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna break this right at the bottom. That should be fine. Didn't didn't break the church? No. Okay, grab scrap metal. And we're gonna rinse and repeat on almost every side to try and get that done. But this one up here is actually shorter than it should be, so we need to increase this one up. And then we're gonna have to build it across, which is kinda hard. But we'll see what we can do. Alright, so now we're gonna build it across. Um Yeah, right here. Oh, damn it. Guys, it's gonna be difficult. I'll break. I'll just. Can breaking the wood get rid of this? Yeah, breaking the wood should get rid of this. And we still gotta break that other piece of wood. Yeah, come on. Come on. There we go. Awesome. Alright, now we can build across. Just, just. How am I gonna do this? I don't wanna put down more wood. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come, yes, all right, perfect. Let's get another one. Let's get another one. Yes, all right, now it should be easy. Yep, here we go, perfect. 
Now it's going to be connected to the middle like I want it to be. Awesome. Perfect. Alright, so the problem with this is we are going to need to have one right in the middle of the church. I don't know if I want to do a water pillar in the middle of the church or if I want to do... I probably won't do a water pillar. I don't think I need a water pillar in the middle of the church. It might in the future once the church starts to decay because I am building off the church. And if the church does collapse, actually, the base above will probably collapse. That's, that's the way it's... It's the way the cookie, cr cookie crumbles. Cookie crumbles, yep. Cookies. Lots of cookies. So let's, uh... That's, that's four. Is, he, and is this one four? Um, yeah, that one's four, right? One, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, so I need one four high in the middle. And I also... No, they're, they're equal. Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and build on up. And we're just going to go ahead and rinse and repeat over here. Wow, this one's actually not being difficult like the last one. And spoke too soon, apparently. Here we go, here we go, and last one. Alright, so we got one more section left. This is the one that's actually too tall. I built it one too tall. That was the This, this is the pillar that we made this episode. Um, I made it one too tall, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But, I mean, we can just build it one lesser, and hopefully it works. We're going to start on this side, though, because it might... Yeah, that way we don't, like, overshoot it. And perfect. There we go. But we don't really need to break that quite yet. We can do it later. It's not that big an issue right now. It's not really ever going to be an issue. It's just once we get up there to put down the reinforced concrete, we can break those. But we don't need to go up there right now. So that's done. That's done. So we need supports in the middle. So let's do just like a little support in the middle and do some supports off to the side. Eat my potatoes. No, keep eating my potatoes. Don't eat my auger. So, mm, I, bet, I wonder how weird this looks from, like, afar. Probably looks really weird, but I bet it'll look weirder in the future. So, we want to try and get, like, the middle. The exact middle, if we can. I'm just going to take a guess and go right here. Then we're going to build one of those 2x4 pillars right here. And see if we can just connect them. I don't know if it's going to reach that far. We might have to do more pillars in between the middles, like a Q1, Q3 kind of scenario with statistics, and uh, see if we can what to do. We don't, I don't know if we can really build that far. I think it's going to start collapsing, and at that collapsing point, we'll just build something. It's going to collapse pretty damn soon. And one more, and it's going to collapse. Maybe. One more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we need to build a pillar right underneath where it just collapsed. That way it's optimizing how much trussings we are using and we don't have to waste a lot of iron in the future. It's going to take a lot of trussing to build this up. Damn it. As I say that, I break one. Here we go. And now we just build across to the center pillar. Awesome. Boom, 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 boom. All right, wow. All right, so now we got to do it on the other side. But I think there's actually a glitch where you can build from both sides and just like put them together like this. That way you're getting supports from both sides. But I'm definitely going to still put one in the middle because I don't want to trust it when I'm walking on it. I don't want it to collapse because walking on it is different from actually having the structure withstand. Um, walking on it puts on weight and if you put weight on it, usually it can collapse. So that's about five, one, two, three, four, five, and six, the sixth spot right here. And then we just put a pillar straight up. And then we have the middle part done. There's going to be a lot of supporting that needs to be done, unfortunately, during this video. And I, I, I was hoping to get it all done this episode, but I don't think there it's really going to happen. So now that I look at it, it looks pretty good, solid in the middle, very solid in the middle. But we still need to support the, the outer sides. Because there's no way that the... Uh, the uh, reinforced concrete is going to withstand if like that length. I think it only goes about seven. So I'm kind of trying to make things only seven apart, or at least, or at most seven. So like making sure that it's five or six, just the way it works. So we're going to put a pillar about right here. And that's not what I wanted. Not actually, it's not going to break it either. But we're going to put a pillar right here, and then we're going to connect it to the center. Now oh, this actually has to go really high up. We're going to connect it to the center. 
my girl just moaned. I don't know what I wanted to do. I am really misclicking a lot, but it's, it's, it's bound to happen. Is that the right height? No. Crap. It's not even close to the right height. Wow. Fail. Alright, so we're gonna have to use our wood and build our way up. That's the only way this is gonna work. There we go. Ah, oh, crap. I'm just... What? Okay. There we go. And place one more. Place one more right here. And now it's even. Perfect. Okay. But we're gonna see then seeing that that thing collapsed, we actually should we're actually gonna have to put another pillar in between the center pillar and the outer pillar, if that makes sense. Um, we're gonna have to put one like right in the middle, right about here. Yeah, that's perfect. And then we'll just slap it up, and that'll support the supports. Yeah, exactly. Lots of supporting. I knew I, knew, I kind of over underestimated how much supporting this would take. But I'm going to have to do a lot more than actually what I'm doing right now. Um, those pillars on the sides, I feel like were actually unnecessary, like the water pillars on the sides. But they are necessary because that's, that's the source block connected to bedrock. Because if items are actually not connected to bedrock, as in, um, like the church is connected to bedrock, but the roof of the church is not connected like touching bedrock it's uh what i mean by touching or connecting to bedrock is one block that is touching it has touched bedrock so if it's touching the dirt the dirt touches the stone the stone keeps going all the way down to bedrock and the church's roof actually doesn't touch bedrock because it is floating it has nothing underneath it so we need things that are touching bedrock and that's what the outer pillars do for us and we have water around them of course just so the zombies don't break them we could try and make the church unbreakable just by putting water around it i don't know if i want to do that though i kind of like the whole church uh, being able to decay kind of thing that's kind of like my idea so we got the side one done that's perfect and now we got to put one right smack dab in the middle just like the other side it's going to be completely unsymmetrical i'm not counting perfectly but um, this this way, I don't, you guys don't have to watch me count, and you won't have to watch me build for the for a long time. But this is going to be a pretty sick build. There we go. I think I'm going to stop the episode. No, I won't stop it here. I want to see what it looks like from afar. That's for sure. And I also want to. Um, I need to put the water around the pillar, and um, I need to think about what I'm doing next. I think I'm going to have to put more outer pillars, and then I should be able to start building the actual house. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get the supports done. I can try and work through the night and have it be a night episode, but it's going to be very hard for you guys to see. The zombies are going to start killing the church, and I don't think it's going to be possible because I don't want the zombies to start breaking down the church right now. So we're going to go ahead and run on down, and uh, where's my ladder? Which side is my ladder on? I wonder how cool this looks from afar. Let's, let's go check out what it looks like from afar. There's my ladder. All right. You can see the shadow right there, that's really cool. I feel like this is going to look amazing from afar. It's going to look like something really... Yep, looks like it. <laughs> that's awesome. It looks like a spider. It looks like a spider kind of thing. That looks really futuristic-y. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks very, very cool. So now we actually need to uh, put the water around the, the final pillar. Hopefully we actually get the pillar to be, like perfect so what is it again um one two three four five six the sixth block i knew that i remember that actually so i wanted to double check i didn't want to screw it up one two three four five six awesome right here i actually am going to run out of metal trussing crap all right so we got to make more i'm just going to make a shit ton here we go that should that should do it and then we're going to make these and then we're going to make the 300 metal trussing do we need 300 no we don't but we we ain't poor up in here we we live in good so we're gonna have, go ahead and just make 300 that's not what i wanted to do um i'm gonna attempt not to screw up the water again because that's a pain in the ass to fix as you saw two episodes ago or maybe last episode i don't remember what it was probably last episode um it's a pain in the ass to fix but we can just put down the uh let's break this i hate the grass it's so obnoxiously in the way so let's put down water right here. Wait for it to fill up the bottom a little bit. Snag that. Put more down. 
and so on. So uh, that's about it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to try and complete the supports next episode. I know I said I was going to do it this episode, but I'm definitely going to definitely 100% I promise you I will be finishing the supports next episode and I will begin on the actual building of the house so hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode and I'll see you guys later